It is a very hard thing to come home in this environment where oftentimes people continue to judge you on mistakes that you might have made in the past. When I was released from incarceration, the feeling was the fear of the unknown. It's hard because we had these barriers, employment, mental health, rejection. I didn't think I would ever get a fair chance. I didn't know where to start moving forward. We are focused on helping people who are recently released from incarceration find employment. Within two days of coming to CEO, folks will start working for us on our social enterprise. When they're working for us, they're getting paid each day, they're getting coaching and feedback each day. We're both trying to provide them stability at a very unstable time, but we're also trying to reacclimate them to the world of work. I came to CEO through my um, parole officer. They wrote a referral and I came in for orientation. Our participants are excellent workers. They are caring, they are hardworking, they have technical skills and different kinds of skills that you might never expect that they've learned through their lived experience. Everyone here was very empathetic. Like They can relate to what I was going through at the time. A lot of people involved with CEO got trauma that they're not even aware of. This is a time that can be very scary for people. This can be a time where people might end up going back into incarceration because of the way that people are policed and supervised. And so CEO is here to provide that on-ramp to a better life, to prosperity, to a change. It was a three-day orientation, which is paid for. Moving forward, they placed me at a job site. They linked me up with a job coach, a job developer and they helped me with mock interviews and job readiness. It made me feel like some sense of accomplishment, like I could contribute something to my house, like I was actually doing something for myself. CEO has been around for over 40 years. We're in 30 cities across 12 states, and we serve about 8,000 people per year. If you don't play, you lose by default. So I decided to engage and fully immerse myself in society and you know, apply myself. CEO has undergone rigorous evaluation and showed a 22% reduction in recidivism compared to a control group. The Emergence Leaders Program gave us the tools. I started as a site supervisor here. I got like 13 years here at CEO. CEO is really working towards a vision where anyone coming home can fully participate in society. And that means fully removing all barriers to employment. That means providing technical assistance for other nonprofits who are doing similar work. That also means advancing our policy and advocacy work so that we're fighting for laws that promote inclusive hiring, promote economic mobility for folks coming home throughout all the states that we work in. Us participants get to say our story so we can make a difference with policies and advocacy. Something in New York City that we're very proud of is a Less is More initiative. This is aiming to reduce supervision for folks coming out of incarceration. It's been passed and so we have less people on parole, less people being supervised and dealing with parole violations. I tell them about my experience. I tell them how far I've come, entering CEO, my growth, everything I've done to accomplish. And it's all based on the platform that CEO has given me. Like this is not just my job, it's actually my family. And to, to this day, I look at it as a bridge to back to life.